hints on the multiple choice section, read each question carefully, and then try and answer the question before you look at the choices. So like as you're reading it, kind of think about what you would choose as the answer if it was like a free response. And then when you look at the um, answer choices, you go, oh yeah, that one. Um, cross off answers you know are wrong, you can write in the book. Uh, draw a picture if you need to. If you don't know the answer, move on and go to the next question. Um, the questions are totally random uh, by difficulty, so it's entirely possible that the very last question on the test is the easiest one. Okay, and the um, first question is the hardest. So if you read the first question, you're like, oh gosh, this is hard, I'm screwed. You might not be, right? It might just be the hardest question on the test. Um, don't spend too long on one question. If you can't figure it out, move on. Come back to it if you have time. You can guess. There is no penalty for guessing. Um, they used to give you one, but they don't now. Do not leave any question blank. If you can't narrow the choices down, pick your safety letter. Okay, and this is good for any type of multiple choice test. Okay, your safety letter is basically the letter that you choose that's going to be your letter that you write down if you have absolutely no clue about the question. Okay, so let's say my safety letter is B. Every time I don't know what is what the answer is and I can't narrow it down, I just literally have no clue, I'm going to hit B. Okay, and I'm going to do that for every single one that I have no clue. And hopefully some of those will be right. Okay, if you can narrow it down at all, obviously, you know, use those choices. But um, if you really have no clue, use your safety letter. Um, some questions are just easy. Don't second guess yourself. There's always a few questions they expect everyone to get right. There's one that's like, who wrote Silent Spring? They almost have always have something like that. Or Rachel Carson wrote which book? Um, they, they usually have something like that. And then do not change your answer unless you have a really, really good reason to do so, because most likely um, it's not going to be 